Instapoodle and Poodles. Introducing Instapoodles. Let's unbox and review. Yes, you heard. Instapoodles, the mystery box of tiny figurines. And as you can see here on the screen, these are tiny cup noodle looking mystery boxes that look like actual cup noodles. And there is a promo video for that, so let's take a look at it. Already I haven't pressed play, but the background is absolutely adorable. And what do we have here? They look like instant noodles. You open it up, it looks like it's bubbling. We get chopsticks and we can pull the characters out. I wonder if there's any kind of bags. Oh, that's a rare one. I wonder if there's any kind of bags or if the mystery really is inside the fizzing cup. I think that's what we're going to find out together. And there seems to be quite a few to collect. Just one, two. I think there's 12 to collect, I can't tell, but there seems to also be its own environment, kind of like Polly Pocket. And then of course they have accessories. And if we look at the pictures again, it's just showing us the different characters. We have chopsticks, we have people having fun. <laughs> I'm hoping we have fun, okay? That's, that's all I want. Actually, there's more than 12 to collect. Four times five, so that's 20, and then the one rare one. So there's 21 different Insta Poodles to collect. And then they have different accessories, and then they have different homes that we can collect. So it looks like there's only four different homes, but 21 different puppies. Let me know in the comments which one do you hope that we get today, and whether or not we got it by the end of the video. Personally, I think D4 is absolutely derpy looking, and I kind of want that one. But of course, I wouldn't say no to the rare one with the crown. By the way, for those of you wondering, I did find these because of you. For those of you who've been tagging me a little bit of everywhere. So what I ended up doing is I went to Salty Crafter. I'm like, hey, Salty Crafter, you need to travel the world and go find me some Insta Poodles. And surely enough, Salty Crafter did her magic and came out of nowhere after disappearing for a few seconds and found them. And then she threw them to me through the screen. And then apparently I got it through the screen over here. So to show Salty Crafter our love, let's get this video to 10,000 likes. I'll smash that like button. Don't you wish your cats could talk to you and tell you how they feel? Say something, say something. In all seriousness, our cat's health is important because when they're happy, we're happy. But since we can't read their mind and cats are really good at hiding their own well-being and health, that's why I absolutely adore Pretty Litter because it helps me keep tabs on my cat's health. For those of you who don't know Pretty Litter, they are a litter that helps monitor your cat's health. Yes, Pretty Litter changes colors based on the pH of your cat's urine. So it looks for acidity and alkalinity levels outside the average range, plus the visibility of potential blood. And one of the other perks that Pretty Litter has is that it was developed by veterinarians. So using Pretty Litter as a monitoring tool for me to find different anomalies in order to bring my cat to the vet to double check is always something that keeps my mind at ease. Especially we recently adopted a senior cat. His name is Professor Winston. He is absolutely adorable. So we're just a little worried about him since we don't know his history. So we love keeping an eye on his health and how he's feeling. And now with having three cats at home, I am so happy that Pretty Litter has advanced odor control. The crystals absolutely wonderfully absorb moisture and odor, keeping our house not smelling like there are cats. So what are you waiting for? Take control of monitoring your own kitty's health with Pretty Litter and keep odors down by going to prettylitter.com forward slash nerdycrafter and use my code nerdycrafter to save 20% on your first order and get a free cat toy. That's prettylitter.com forward slash nerdycrafter for a free cat toy with your order and 20% off by using the code nerdycrafter. Thank you Pretty Litter for helping me keep my mind at ease with my cats and making absolutely wonderful litter as well as sponsoring a portion of today's video. Now the first thing I do notice is that it is written in Japanese at the bottom here. And when I did a translation, it basically said new friends inside. The design of the cup is absolutely adorable. It says just add water. Let's get a little closer. So we have the just add water. We have Insta Poodles ready in minutes. And then on the other side, it says over 20 poodles to collect, which is 21. Wait, this poodle's cute. It has little headphones on top, super adorable. Surprises in every cup. We have one playhouse, one stand. We get five poodle figurines in each one. That's pretty generous. I didn't think they would give us five of them, but I'm really happy they do. From 20 plus possibilities. We have a poodle accessory and chopsticks. Okay. And again, on top, it does look like the instant noodles where we have all the instructions, water, fizz, and then grab surprises. So that means things are going to be pretty wet. Although on the ad, everything looked pretty dry if we see that again. All right, so let's see what we get inside. And there doesn't seem to be any kind of pulley tab. So we're going to take our sharp pointy thing. 
All right, so let's, oh wait, we should take the chopsticks out. What do I do? Do I just pull you? Okay, that was easy. And the chopsticks have some cute texture on them. And this is what they look like. Now I know I hold chopsticks all wrong and these are so small. These are really tiny. This is so hard to even wanna make it work. All right, let's pull you back. Okay, how far back do I pull this? Let's check the instructions. There are none. It just says, just add water, watch it fizz, and then grab your surprises. Okay, do I remove this? I'm not sure, do I remove this? Do I, I'm assuming I remove all of these. And the inside basically looks like white noodles. It feels like a bath bomb. Does it smell like a bath bomb? No, it smells like unscented detergent. <coughs> that was one sniff too much. <coughs> I should have stopped at the third sniff. <laughs> All right, so this is apparently the stand, and I think this is to hold the chopsticks. So we're going to put the chopstick in here and in here, like I saw, and now it should be easy. Look at that. That's way easier because it is so small. At least that way we can hold stuff better. All right, I have a bottle of water. It is not cloudy, that is just the bottle, and I'm not using the drink on the inside. It's actually just water. How much water do I put in there? Instructions, just add water, it says. Okay. All right, let's, let's just add water. Just add water. How much water? Like that? That was a lot of water. Are we fizzing? That is some sad fizzage. I'm sitting here. Hello? It's not really fizzing. Way to make a moment awkward. <laughs> this is not fizzing. Maybe it needs a little stir. Okay, we're getting a little bit of fizzing here, but it's not what I expected. I thought it would be like, kind of like the bath bomb, because apparently bath bombs go like that. This is very anticlimactic. I wonder how long this is going to take. I'm going to put a timer and we're, it's going to wait till it dissolves. Five minutes later. And so here we are after five minutes. It just stopped fizzing and this is what it's looking like. Right now we have conchies over here. Everything's floated to the top. My goodness. Okay, everything's floated to the top. This is so weird. I guess I have to empty it. This is so messy. I don't want, I don't want to leave this desk. <laughs> Fine, I'll get a container. But before we drain the water, we definitely need to make sure that we take our pieces out. And the first one, we're just gonna put them all on here and then we're gonna take a closer, ah, come on, come on. I'm really good with chopsticks. It makes no sense that I would be struggling. Okay, 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 C come on, come on, come on. Bruh. You know what, part of the play is trying to fish them out <laughs> because I am having this, come on, yes. It's kind of like that game with the apples and the mouth and the, I can't believe that was an actual game where everybody put their mouths in the same bowl of water. You know what I'm talking about. And we have another thing in here. I'm guessing that's the accessory. What is that? Oh, I think that's the whole house. Do I have to remove you? Okay. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna put this here. Does this go on top? No, does this go in here? No, I think this is all standalone. And the first thing I notice is my fingers are very chalky. The water has this chalky residue to it. So let's see our poodles. The first one we have is a sleepy one. And in case you're wondering, it is very gummy-esque. It feels like an eraser. I like that texture, so I'm not complaining. So this one just looks like a sleepy poodle with headphones. Very cute. I like this. Next we have, oh my goodness, you're adorable. We have a bubblegum <laughs> chewing poodle. Again, very soft and squishy. I love the eyes on the character. This is small. Just so you have an idea, here's my thumbnail. Okay, look at your thumbnail, and that's basically how small these poodles are. It's cute, they're tiny. Next poodle we have, oh, this one has eyes that look a little devious, very cute. Reminds me of the eyes Mariah Elizabeth draws on her squishies when she does squishy makeovers. And this is doing some weird thing. I think they're adorable. I can definitely see that as part of her project. Absolutely cute. And then, what are you? Oh, this one's sleeping too. This. <laughs> This one's very frizzy. Very, very, very. Love that. Love all the little curls. She has yellow bows and a tiny tail and the legs. They really didn't mess up with the 
the paint job. Normally with this small size of figurines, they kind of cheap out on the details of the painting, but no, we can see the little paws over here. To be honest, not my favorite. I don't know why the eyes are closed. It kind of reminds me of old school Cinderella. And then our fifth poodle is a fancy one. This one has some paint splotches a little bit of everywhere, but again, they didn't cheap out on the detail. Cute little glasses. That one's actually very nice looking. So these are the five poodles that we got. Now what I'm curious about is whether or not they always come in the same sequence or do they change even within each other? So are we always going to get these five together or not? So that's gonna be something we're gonna find out together. And the accessory we have is a bed. Oh my goodness, it's a crib. I was wondering what these holes were for. Oh gosh, oh gosh, there you go. Stop, they didn't have to do that, but now it's actually in there, pretty stable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no, distracted! So all the poodles can fit in here depending on which one you want. I guess that's why probably some of them look like they're sleeping. Hello? There you go. Cute! My goodness! I like this. So far this is pretty cute. I'm hoping there aren't going to be too many downsides. And then here we got the puppy clinic. I really don't like this chalkiness though, but yeah, we have the puppy clinic. The door opens. Oh, we can put another poodle. So we can have a poodle just kind of at the window. Stop. <laughs> this is cute. Oh my God. Stop. Too cute. <laughs> okay, this is adorable. So we have the puppy clinic and I was worried about the sticker, but it looks like the sticker survived the water. Here's what it looks like all the way around. You can't really do too, too much, but I think once you have all four homes, perhaps you can make a little village. That's cute though. I like that. I really hope the variation is different in each box. Oh, and let's not forget that we do have a stand. So you can basically just kind of station every single one of your poodles on here so that you can collect them and just have them be in the same spot. This is really satisfying. Being able to just put the poodles all together like this is a great idea to not lose them. It's, it's a little crammed, but it, it works. It works. And the thing we didn't look at is the character guide. They have names and we actually get to find out who's common, special, and rare. Apparently the rare one is Princess Glitterpaws. Very princessy. We got Raindrop, Bubbles, Starlet, Fluffy, and Abby. They look way cuter on the papers. And as I said, we got the crib. All right, let's see the next one because I have so many questions about how these are packaged and whether or not we're getting the same ones. Take out our chopsticks, open this up. All right, let's remove our stand, the papers, and now we're going to fill it up with water and wait approximately five minutes. Let's get it all, oh my goodness, there you go. Is the fizzing better? No. I'm actually pretty disappointed. If there's one mechanic I'm sad about is the lack of fizzy in this fizzy thing. So let's, let's let it do its thing. I thought I would wait here while it slowly fizzes away. It's, it's gotten worse. It is now just stale water. Look at that. Don't tell me this doesn't look nasty. The water just looks stale and it looks like something that if you put your foot in, you have to get a tetanus shot. What is happening here? Hello? I'm just gonna manually break this because I can't wait so long. Come on. I don't have, oh, it's so nasty. Oh, 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 there they float. There they float. Come on, keep floating, keep floating. I just have to finger this thing to get things out. Don't take me out of context. Don't you do it. Ah, it's so chalky and nasty. All right, we're gonna take the same napkin and we're gonna pull these out. Again, half the fun is kind of fishing these out because they do float. So let's put them on the side. Come on, come on. <laughs> these chopsticks are the worst. There you go. Very nice. I already see some doubles. I think I do. We're gonna take a closer look, which means they are not packed in the same five. I'm free. You saw nothing. And then another item here. Oh, I see a double as well. <laughs> Why am I struggling? There you go. Ah, there. All right, we're gonna remove the rest of this. Pull you out. And I think it's a different play environment. Okay. All right, so our first poodle is, okay, that's cute. She's holding a little purse with her eyes closed and a fancy hat. Look at the little tail. This is adorable. Again, super tiny. You can see my nail. Next, we have another poodle with some glasses on, a little bit of shading. This is interesting. They didn't just go out and flatly just plain blue. They made a little bit of shading over here with a smile and it's actually standing. 
Very nice. I like the design on that one. Next, oh, we don't have any doubles yet. I don't think so. We have this one that just looks absolutely cute and shy with a green bow, the little hairs and the pink tail. Adorable. And then this is different. Okay, definitely different. Very, very elaborate long hair with a purple bow. Again, all of them are super squishy, which I do like the texture of. They're very, very squishy. I do like that. And last but not least, more shading. Interesting. We have a fancy looking one with some pearls around her neck. And this is what she looks like all the way around. And the playhouse that we get is a poodle palace. So we have a castle. I just wish these had a little bit more detail, but for $6, this really isn't an expensive mystery box. And here's what it looks like. The door opens. We can definitely hide a little poodle like so. Hang on, let's get you in here. Voila, they can look through the window like this. But the instructions also said you can put a poodle on the top like that. So that's really cute. Here it is again, all the way around. We do have a little window like I saw. And we have our first double, which is the crib. Again, very flexible, very much so compatible with every single poodle. Now, so far we just have cribs. We just have places for them to sleep. You sleep it down, crib rocks. Oh, it's supposed to rock. I was just a little aggressive. There you go. Very nice. It does rock. So it looks like we have Belle and I'm just crossing them out so I don't forget who we have. We have Belle. Pretty sure this is Pepper. It's funny, we got Bell Pepper. It works in that order. It's pretty good. And what I'm doing is I'm putting them on their stand together so that we remember the order that they came in. The one with the purse seems to be Coco, crossing you up. And then these two that seem like they go together, who are you? We have Kiki and Pearl. Okay, because of all the little Pearl things. We can cross Pearl and we can cross Kiki. Very nice. So these are the ones that we got in this set. And the chalkiness is driving me crazy. It's like fine sand. Ugh, I don't like this. I'm, ugh, I don't like this at all. Now, I do have 12 in total to unbox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open all six of these together. Like so. And now let's go ahead and open these up. Remove this and the paper. I'm so sad. We're gonna see all of them in different action as they're actually being bubbling or so to speak. There you go. Voila. I'm super curious. Very, very curious if some of them will bubble or if they're all just very anticlimactic with the bubbliness. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Did you expect more fizz? Like kind of, kind of thing? Cause obviously I did. Maybe I'm expecting too much. Maybe my hope was too high. Wait, I forgot to take the papers out of that one. And then this one, voila, and voila. There, now we have six of them ready to be poured with water. I don't even know why this is there, to be honest. If it was fizzing like crazy, sure, you don't want some of that splatter back, but we don't care about no splatter back because there ain't any. The other thing I noticed is a lot of this is not seeming to be recyclable. I don't see any of the symbol here, so that's no bueno, which is good for me to unbox them so that it saves you not just money, but also resources. So y'all, for those of you doing this mystery box, it's a good idea, but the execution could be better. Call me, I'm a great consultant. All right, so let's go ahead and pour the water in. Let's just make sure they don't go. We have one here. Are you fizzing? What? Seriously? Look at that. <gasps> Listen. This is actually fizzing. Okay there, overachiever. <laughs> doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Phenomenal, great. Are you gonna fizz? Let's try you out. How about you? This one said, no, I will be stale water. Still nasty. This one is still going though. Yeah, this one's still going. Okay. Are you gonna be an overachiever? And the answer is, nope. Still water again. Are you? I see an idea of fizzing, but no. This one out here being extra, listen to that sound. Okay. So far we only have one fizzer. All the rest ain't fizzing. How about you? 
And the answer for this one is still water. Okay. Number five, are you a fizzer or not? What are you? Not a fizzer. Or are you? <gasps> you are fizzy. Yes, we got two so far. That's two out of seven. That's not good. That's a really bad ratio here. Look at that. It's doing it. We love it. This we can respect. Yeah, we like that. Okay. And this one seems like it has less, <laughs> less noodles. Okay. Are you going fizz? And the answer is yes. More fizzes. So out of the six that we did, half of them are fizzy. The other half, not so much. Again, we did do eight so far. So that's three out of eight fizzing. Kitty Editor, what's the percentage so far? Thank you, I appreciate you, Kitty Editor. You may go back to eating your nice little wet food. All right, let's talk about when it actually is working right. Look, it actually pushed everything to the top because of the bubbly. So everything is floating and made its way up as opposed to being blocked by that, by that, hang on, by that. <laughs> Look at this, hello? Yeah, instead of being blocked by that, basically everything just rose to the top. So let's see what we have here. I'm just reusing the same napkin. So I'm gonna pull these out. This is so satisfying. Oh, look at this. Okay, we'll look at it after, we'll look at it after. I'm seeing some doubles already, which again, I it is to be expected. I'm getting better at this. I'm getting better at using their, chops, their flimsy chopsticks. There you go. And now we pull this out and it should reveal our play item. This powder is making my fingers so dry. You can see the powder everywhere. We have our first double as pepper, and then we have Abby again. So Abby again still looks really cute. Our next double is bubbles, but I think bubble came in a different set. We're gonna put them all together and then compare. But we do have a different one, and this one is called Cookie with a party hat a huge smile on its face with some really bright blue hair and then just moon-shaped eyes. Absolutely adorable, very happy looking character. And then we see Fluffy again. Again, here's what Fluffy looks like all the way around. And this is the set that we got in this unboxing. And as you can see, we do have some similar characters, but also generally it looks like the five we get are random and not packaged sets which is nice to know. And the accessory we have is a rockin' chair unicorn character. So here's what it looks like all the way around. The paint job on the eye is not the greatest, but here's what it looks like. And here's what it looks like with a poodle sitting right on top. That's actually pretty cool. We have the powder all over your face, my goodness. There you go. If I didn't know what this powder was, I'd be wondering what a YouTuber's doing with it. No, but seriously, this is actually pretty cute. I like this. I love the fact that they interact with each other. Now, let's see the playset. Okay, so this is the back. It looks like there's a garden. Oh, it's a shop. It's a boutique. Okay, so it looks like it's an accessory store. Again, we can open it up, put our poodle over here, kind of like greeting shoppers, like, welcome to my shop. And we can have another poodle up here being like, come and shop into my friend's shop. It's the bouncer. <laughs> So technically we only got one extra different poodle in this set and an extra accessory. So let's go through the rest. I'm going to make this a little less cumbersome on myself and I gonna pull, pull these out. Oh my goodness, I kind of want to use the chopsticks. <laughs> We're gonna just take these out at this point, like so, voila, voila, and voila. And we have our playhouse. And I'm seeing another double. We have bubbles again. And you're gonna sit over here. Next, oh, this one's different. Who are you? We have a pink bow with a bob kind of hairstyle all the way around. The yellow on yellow is a little boring to me, but this is what she looks like. And her name is Milia. No, Millie, Millie. And then another fully yellow poodle the head is gigantic. Oh my goodness. This poodle is just, it's, it's very disproportionate. That is huge. I know it's supposed to be cute, but holy shrimp, that is gigantic. Okay, and who are you? Looks like this is Goldie. And then, all right, we have another double over here. And then another one that we already got with the closed sleepy eyes. That is not my favorite. And for the accessory, we have the crib 
again for the third time. It seems very common to get this one. Technically, we're missing seven of the normal ones over here. I know there's common, special, and rare, but we also need that rare, rare one. So technically, we're eight down. We're eight, missing eight of them. Oh, and the playset is another boutique. So let's fish these out. I know I took the other bit by hand, but I kind of... I kind of I kind of like fishing them this way. There's something about it that adds the fun to it. And I already see quite a few. Oh my goodness, come on. There you go. You know what? It's this thing. This thing's in the way. I'm just going to pull this out. See, now everything is going to be much easier to pick out. Much easier, I said. <laughs> there you go. See, I'm not lying. Oh, that's different, I think. And another one. Like us all. Our accessory is the unicorn rocker. So we already saw this one. This one's coming up quite a bit, so not good to see you again. And then, yeah, we've definitely seen this one as well. Nothing different. This one, however, seems to be new and even looks a little shy. So we have two different colored bows, one on either side. There's a little bit of shading on top of the nose. Here's what it looks like all the way around. Love the expression on the face for that one. Looks like a little unsure, I like that. And it looks like it's Lolly. Okay, Lolly. And, oh, you are also new. Love the little bandana around the neck. It kind of reminds me of one of the characters in Scooby-Doo, the one with the orange hair. Let's see her side by side. Maybe that's me, I don't know. Does she even have orange hair? But here is what it looks like all the way around. And again, it looks really good. It doesn't feel as disproportionate as the other one. The head to body ratio just makes more sense. Again, these are always very, very squishy. And here it's Daisy. Again, they look really cute on this sheet. It just doesn't translate as well when it's that small. Or maybe the molds are just a little wonky. And then we've seen this one, right? I feel like we've seen this one in the first unboxing. Here's what it looks like all the way around. Again, the head is gigantic on this one. And yes, it's Starlet. And these are the ones we got in this set. Let's pull this out. I think this is going to be the exact same play set, which is pink. And it's going to be the, the boutique. Next looks pretty different. I'm just gonna pull this entire top part off. And I think there's different characters. I definitely don't know what this is. <laughs> it's very wonky with my fingers there. Come out. There you go, we have one, two, three, four, and five. What is this? Did it break? Oh, part of the playset's broken. Oh no, oh no. So I think the part that broke is where the actual poodle can sit, or is this just a push-in? I think we could just push it in. Okay, it's not broken. It just popped off. And this is the Poodle Palace. We already got this one. A double, another repeat. Our third one is another repeat. Oh, <gasps> stop. We got the ultra rare one. We actually got an ultra rare one. Now I'm just really curious if this glitter is coming off. And the answer is yes, that's bad. Okay, so the glitter's coming off. It does have a bit of a gem right in the middle of the crown. I'm actually surprised we got one. Not not to be unsurprised though, but we did buy a lot of them. <laughs> is there a gem or is that water? Hang on, is this gem or water? I think this is another gem on her collar. Okay, so here's what she looks like. Very nice. Oh, she comes with a stand. So here's our accessory, which is a pedestal with number one written on it. So we can basically put her on there. Can you? There you go. Here's what she looks like. Okie dokie. And another double. But hey, we got Princess Glitter Paws. Didn't expect that. We can cross her out. Which means we're missing Shelby, Crystal, Gigi, and Mochi. I really want Mochi and Luna. So we're missing these five over here. We do have quite a few boxes, so let's speed through them. And I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. We are missing quite a few of the accessories though, so I'm not sure if we're going to find them all. So let's, let's just shove our hands in there, take them all out. Take everything. We know that our playset seems to be another Poodle Palace. And we're technically missing one of them, which is the Rough House. Is it called the Rough House? It's called the Rough House. If I didn't know context, I would think this is a completely different environment. <laughs> what did you think? What did you think? And let's see our lineup. Have, have, another one, same. Same and same. I'm just squishing them because they feel good squishing. So this entire box was just doubles and we're gonna pull this off. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're just gonna let them fall. We have again the Poodle Palace and I'm gonna scoop them characters 
And our accessory is something we've seen way too often, which is the crib. We have yet to see the stroller, the throne, the cruiser, a skateboard, a scooter, shopping cart. These are all ones we have not seen at all. Let's see our poodles. We have, oh my goodness, we have Luna, you are derpy. Oh no, Luna, they did you dirty. <laughs> Luna, no! Poor Luna. Well, at least we got Luna. We can cross Luna off. <laughs> Poor Luna. We already have her. And, oh, we have another one. A new one. Who are you with the cute little hat? Definitely looking to the side. Purple all the way around. Very, very fluffy. And it looks like a sun hat with a blue marking. Which means you are Shelby. Okay, two new pups, that's pretty good. And then we have this one already. And you are, okay, we already have this one as well. We got this one in the first, first unboxing. And so I wanted to do the same process. We're going to go ahead and open every single one of these and then pull the tops off and pour the water inside so that we can see if we get any fizzing. And holy shrimp, three out of four are actually fizzing. Let me bring the brightness much lower so y'all can see what I'm seeing. We have these three actually fizzing. Okay, let's wait. So we are now on the hunt for Crystal, Gigi, and Mochi. Box one, Bow Wow Boutique. Finally, the Cruiser. Double, 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 and double. But here's what they look like in the Cruiser. Love it. Absolutely adorable. Next, first thing I see is the boutique. We also have another cruiser. So soon for this cruiser. Double, 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 and double. Third one, let's remove this and remove this. We have the clinic. We actually have a new accessory and this one is the stroller. Our poodles are, are you a double? Yes. Repeat. Oh, Mochi, we got you, you derpy little thing. <laughs> Here we have Mochi the derpy pup. Very cute, I love the little face. Repeat and repeat. And here's what they look like in the stroller. Again, still very cute. I love mochi, so derpy. Number four, notice how the powder here just did not melt. So let's see what we have. Let's pour them all in here. It looks like we have again the clinic. And in this one, we get again the stroller. It's so funny, we got two cruisers and two strollers back to back, so random. And for those of you wondering, it is definitely very, very squishy. For our poodles, have, have, next, have, and then we have, yes, have, and then, yep, we have. What a pity. So it looks like we just did not get Crystal and Gigi. We did do pretty good though. I have to say for $6, it's not a bad mystery box. However, the function of it bubbling and fizzling kind of like a boiling water ramen just wasn't it because the majority of them or even half of them just didn't work. So I would say for about $5, sure, go for it. Try one if you like the squishy little things, but otherwise it has some work to do and I feel like it's, it's cute but one is enough. If you want to watch more mystery boxes, especially messy, especially messy ones, check out my Bubbly Loons <laughs> unboxing over here. If you want to catch something different and crafty, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.